I've seen the play three or four times, I've seen it in schools, I've seen it here in the theatre. I'm always awed by the drama of it, but the, it's so close to the experience that sadly so many young people have. And the play is almost so broad that almost any age group can watch that play and get something from it. It's such a powerful play. Whatever your actions are, there's consequences to it, and it's giving the message out to kids. It's also saying to the young people, you've got a choice here. I think every young person should see it. I would feel they don't feel like they're being preached at, that they're coming to watch a show, and then slowly the messages unfold within it. It's so relevant to what's going on in the world today with the young, with young people and gangs. Gangs can be glamorised um, by people, and girls think it's a bit exciting to be involved in that. Maybe it takes away a bit of the glamour. I think this play has the capacity to stop almost anyone in their tracks, whether it's an Aldo or an eight ball. This play can make them stop and think about the situation that they're in. It's not just about gangs and gun crime. It's really about peer pressure as well. So what you want is uh, for the young people to believe what they're seeing on stage can actually happen to them. What you do is you give the play as much impact and as much realism uh, as you possibly can because you want the audience and in particular the young people who are watching this to come away and just have a think. So part of the idea of the play is to, to say to the young people about the consequences but the other side of it is to say to um, teachers and parents you know you have to keep talking to your kids about these issues because there's six different, very different characters, then young people can identify with at least one or more. I think the important thing for the play is that it doesn't give advice. It asks the questions and it takes it back to the kids time and time again. It's a great starting point for them to start a conversation on a subject that's really difficult for them. No one wants to be known as a grass, but no one wants to put up with that kind of violence and live in a fear too. When you think about those stuff, you ask yourself questions like, if I was in that situation, would I, would I think about these things? It made me think that it, that it could happen to like anyone and it, you just don't know. It really got like the idea of like a gang and showed what it was really like and what to get up to and situations that people in the gang can be in. When I first saw it, I thought um, it was going to be like a funny play, but as we got deeper into the play, like, so I was getting more emotional, so yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. Every gang's got like someone at the top that tells everyone to do stuff and they go and do it because they're scared of it. They know that they need the next lot of recruits and they don't target um, 24, 25 year olds, they target young people. So the idea of this play is obviously to say to those young people, you know, you can talk to somebody if you're under pressure, you know, and you're on the, the fringes of a gang, there are different ways out. I'd like teachers to see it, I want parents to see it. If we can get them to hear the message of the play, then when a young person who sees the play and wants to get out of a gang or wants to get some help, those teachers, those parents, those grown-ups who've seen it can be the next port of call that the young people can turn to.